Hello, my name is James and welcome to Mirror Domains and this is uh, Retro Trailer Reaction Saturday. Uh, we're talking about uh, Death Warrant this week, uh, a movie that stars Jean-Claude Van Damme and came out in 1990. Yeah, 1990. Wow. It's a long time ago, guys, but it uh, it's a request, so let's get to it. I like Jean-Claude Van Damme. Here we go. So, Death Warrant. This was just after uh, Kickboxer, right? And, um, yeah, he had already done Bloodsport. So, he was Jean-Claude Van Damme was just starting to get established here, and I thought this was actually a fairly good step. Uh, in the right direction because it was just like a small little film in which he got to explore some of the range of his acting and uh, it, it it just wasn't that kind of like schlock of fighting, 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 fighting. There was actually kind of an interesting story going on in the background. Uh, let me just see what the synopsis here says on this page. Um, uh, they, of course, they don't give one. It says a uh, maverick detective goes undercover in a prison to find out why so many prisoners are dying there. Yeah, so um, that's what uh, Google is saying. And I, I remember that. So yeah, he, he goes undercover and he gets into a really bad situation and, uh, you know, uncovers some corruption inside it's kind of a bit like that stallone film lockup uh you know it's got that feel to it uh where you know there's like the uh, corrupt uh um warden i mean how <laughs> it's, it's a pretty uh common thing in prison movies that there's a corrupt warden yeah i wonder if there is one where there isn't a corrupt warden but anyway Death Warrant! Of course, you know that this is a retro trailer reaction, so, you know, back then the uh, quality of the trailers just wasn't uh, HD. I apologize for that, so let's just watch this trailer and uh, take a stroll down memory lane. First, he demolished the supreme player in the most brutal sport in the world. Then, he crushed the competition in a contest nobody plays for kicks. Now, what's the problem? He faces a new challenge. Only this time, there are no rules. <laughs> that classic game and sounds playing games. Voice over. Detective Burke, we Sad will send you undercover into Harrison as a prisoner. Van Damme is Burke. You're not gonna last too long. Van Damme is the dirt. It's a promise. <laughs> He's got the toughest job a cop can do. <laughs> Prisoners hate cops more than anything else. It's wow. a hit list. You're a dead man. His cover has been blown. What are you doing in that <laughs> His cover has been blown. You did it! Your number's next on the list. And the odds Ooh. are impossible. Welcome to hell! Uh, <laughs> wow, they're showing the final there. He loves a good Big fight. showdown. <laughs> Is that his scream? I don't think that was his scream. I think that was somebody else doing it. Because uh, he doesn't sound like that. You can't kill me, Burke. I'm the sad man. Now, that's right. I remember that. Death Warrant. Oh, yeah, Robert Goumet is in this. And Cynthia Gibb. Cynthia Gibb. And, uh, okay. So, uh, the main takeaway from that is that uh, you got to love those cheesy uh, voiceovers that they used to do for the trailers. Uh, it's something that kind of died off, and it was well-deserved. We didn't need to know that. And I like the fact that they're saying, Jean-Claude Van Damme is Burke. And it's like, ugh. We don't need to know the character's name. At least that's something that, uh, you know, the Chinese films did very well with Jackie Chan. You know, the movies out of Hong Kong. It's kind of like, why even bother calling him a different character? Just call him Jackie. And, and because that's what people associate with him. With, you know, so it's kind of like, eh, why bother? But, uh, yeah, they try to give this guy a character. And from what I can remember, it's actually pretty well done. I need to watch this again. I mean, it's going to be almost 30 years ago. Wow. Um, let's just pull up the IMDb and see if we can learn a little bit more just, uh, and, uh, recall some of the stuff that we, uh, sort of remembered right here. Van Damme. Ah, uh, yeah. And I like that poster in a violent and corrupt prison decorated cop, Louis 
Louis Burke must infiltrate the jail to find answers to a number of inside murders. What he finds is a struggle of life and death tied to his own past. Because at the yeah, that's right. In the beginning, he busts the Sandman, that that uh, big guy that we see fighting there in the trailer, and then just through the corruption of the systems, the Sandman gets transferred into the prison that he's trying to uh, you know infiltrate. And then they have that big showdown. And uh, it's actually an interesting story. I'm going to have to rewatch this because uh, it's not a bad movie. And that's what made Van Damme kind of cool because uh, he did have a nice little string of movies that were kind of like big hits, good hits. Let's just pull up his page here for a second um, and see where it fit in. Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff since then. Uh, let's scroll right down to Death Warrant. Lionheart was right before that? Really? Lionheart. That one was kind of a miss. But, uh, yeah, he did uh, Double Impact after that. He was twins in that. Universal Soldier. I love Universal Soldier. I thought that was probably... That is got to be his best movie. It's... Uh, it's just uh, extremely well done in the in the sense that it's uh, it's let's just like an action romp, and it doesn't really uh, you know uh, go outside of those boundaries. And I like that one. Uh, I know where to run. Was he in the last action hero? Was he? That's right, he was. Uh, oh, that weird. Hard target. Yeah, John Woo came over and uh, tried to make an impact. Time Cop is probably his second best one. Time Cop. Ah, uh, yeah. And then, of course, people love the two classics, Kickboxer and Bloodsport. Cyborg, that's right, he did Cyborg. I forgot about that one. That one was a long time ago, too, and uh, very, very, uh, very, very old. I forgot about that. And then he's done a whole bunch of stuff here that I don't recognize at all. Uh, from what I know is that uh, that movie he did where it was kind of like a documentary, uh, JCVD. Uh, was pretty good and was worth watching. But uh, Death Warrant, what did you guys think about that trailer? What did you guys think about the movie? Have you seen it? Let me know in the comments below because uh, I actually like that movie. I do remember it. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> YouTube is recommending a video for you to watch right there. And you can see my latest one just right up here. My name is James and you're watching Mirror Domains. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe.